I've just started my Patra and it looks like it says patch 666. Mm -hmm. Wait, you got patch 666 already? Well, it says it's downloading. Tape is rolling, boys and girls. Welcome to Monday. Getting ready to go live. Right on the set. Oh, patch 666 is live. And I have to wait. I know. Click. Right, it's all Laz's fault. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right. Bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Trinity Avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure. Welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Monday, October 2nd here inside Tragedy Avatar. And that means that the Think Pink Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign is in full swing here inside the game, as well as outside the game. Uh, Airy Funds raised almost $1,000 already from what I've seen. Uh, towards the Think Pink, and we're just getting started at the top of the month, so uh, we got to thank everybody out there who's donated already. You got to thank everybody who's uh, going to be joining in throughout the month with all the festivities and stuff going on here in-game, and there are plenty of events scheduled. You can go out to the airyfund.org website and uh, check out the scheduled list of events that are out there. You can sign up to be... Uh, Part of the streamathon coming up later on this month. Um, again, all sorts of events planned. Uh, double check the Shroud and the Avatar forums uh, for the release 46 events out there. And all, just again, just be be and, part of it. And don't forget that if, if you have a uh, if you contribute twenty five dollars or more to the Think Pink campaign, I, as in Jack, this will guy. be sending out. That's right. The Think Pink Community Cloak, which you can see on my character sheet. Yay! That's right. Now, so of course, I, I've got, I, and make I've got that the pink kilt on for this month, so that uh, throughout the month. So do, so do I. And, Always of course, kilt. yeah, see, I can't stand the glow off the cloak, unfortunately, and I need my light source. Yeah, it's mine's got a very nice red 
red glow thanks to uh, Gix. <laughs> it's all Gix's fault. It, that one is all Gix's fault. Um, otherwise, I, see, I, there we go. I would have a nice blue glow. Scarface over here uh, juggling the pink globes. Now, it, uh, it, also, the Scarface did a nice little video. I was uh, just about to say, do you have that uh, handy? You want to we'll show that to well, the good boys and girls out there? We'll get that up on that screen is, and show everybody that, what Scarface did. Yeah, let me let me copy that and paste it in a, another. Oops. Hello, Helps one, if I welcome copy to the actual day, right uh, link. Copy. It's good stuff. I've watched it. Hey, and Arius is here. And Skeggy morning, Scarface Arius. is here as well. Is uh, Thank you, Scarface, for uh, doing such a great video. And we're going to get that up on screen here for you. Jack, are you ready? Uh, I, I'm, I am ready. Count yeah. it in. Three, two, one. Play. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar. And today I've gone all pink for the Think Pink campaign, so I just thought I'd show off some of the items that you can actually get and show you how to, that you can actually get them so you can support the Think Pink campaign as well. The first place we can go to is the Aries website, so if I just bring up my desktop, we have the area Think Pink for October 2017 to help fight breast cancer. Cancer. Now, if you donate in there, you'll get a nice fancy cloak. All you need to do is click on the support Think Pink, and in a few seconds, we should have the donation page up where you can choose your donation level and corresponding reward level. But just for $25, you can actually get the Think Pink Cloak. Now the other things that are in the game is um, say the Think Pink Cloak I'm wearing here. So it's, it's a nice pink cloak with a silver silver or white what they're calling it. It's more silverish to me. No, it's not for that me, not to worry. So that's the cloak. Now the other thing that I've done with this particular character is I've also used a special die which you can buy off the Shroud of the Avatars Make a Difference store. Conch or Contash? Pink or a pink special die that is only available off the actual Shroud of the Avatars web store. So if we just bring that up, I'm going to show you that one. Just get rid of the airy fund. So if you go to the Shroud of the Avatars store and you go on to make a difference, that will bring you to this page here. And then if you go down, you'll find that you can buy a juggling emote. Also a package with the cover album and some wax cylinders and of course a phonograph to play it on. And here is the actual 12 pack pink coloured dye that you can actually have in the game. So go back to the game again. So that's the pink dye that I'm actually using on the character here. So I took the fancy one man fan suit and changed the primary colour using the pink dye. So and when you buy these dyes or the other things on the Make a Difference store you're also some of the money is going towards the actual breast cancer charity. And the other thing that was on there was an emote. Just get the emote up for you. Juggle Peak. There we go. So you can see the little juggling emote there. So those are the things that you can go and do to help breast cancer charity and I hope you found this video helpful and informative so don't forget to go and donate some money and get some fancy in-game rewards and thank you for watching and 
of course, uh, great little video there by uh, oh yeah, Scarface showing off uh, a lot of great stuff. Again, uh, the Countach uh, uh, yeah, support packages available on the uh, Make a Difference store. And uh, thanks to Shooter Jennings for picking that one. Of course, putting Yay. his support behind it. That's right. Thank you, Spec. <laughs> Ink. Yes, so don't forget uh, that the everything related to Shooter Jennings' uh, breast cancer research, all the, the Countach Pink um, stuff was related to his album that's also available in that uh, add-on store, and he donated all of those proceeds all of all of those proceeds so portalarium is not paying any kind of fee for that for that music um and it's one where this enables portalarium to support uh the breast cancer research fund and if you make that donation to the airy fund that's also going to be benefiting the breast cancer research fund in so, the yes so please make those donations uh, either airyfund.org or if you go to the Shroud of the Avatar website and click on uh, the store and go to the Make a Difference store. Yay. Yay. Now, of course, Yay. we do have two birthdays here today. Yes, we do. We, we've got birthdays. And we have a birthday girl who I had to give the wood to earlier today. Yeah. She got the wood. Did you enjoy the wood? I did. It was great. Thanks. So, so which wood did you prefer the most? The, the, the soft wood. I like the hardwood. Hard wood. Obviously, you like you like the hardwood. What about the wood pole for when everything's done? Um, I mean. So, so you like the three states of the wood that you were given? I think I like all wood. Okay. All wood. <laughs> Especially the rock maple. I didn't Are give her the rock, rock maple. And did Swift I, I, get some wood for his birthday? Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'll... I'll <laughs> leave that in my that capable birthdays, hands. You know. you yes. know I, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that in Arius's capable hands. He, he can definitely provide the hardwood for that one. All right. But of course, we know what Spiff's up to today. Spiff's uh, taking a birthday trip down to his favorite location. Oh yeah, he he he's going to go hang out for a few hours and take a nap. He's going to take a nap underneath the chocolate fountain. Yes, I. It, it, not only that, but uh, someone did tell me. <laughs> I'm not going to mention names. That as he spends his birthday at Golden Corral, he will become the chocolate fountain. He will become the fountain. Yes. That's right. But especially <laughs> after eating Golden Corral. Hey, man, that food ain't that bad. Come on, they get a bad rap. Hey. <laughs> so do lots of places, and some of the bad rap is well-deserved. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of Mexican places down near you do Tex-Mex get a bad rap. Or is it just no. bad Tex-Mex? <laughs> yeah, it's just bad Tex-Mex. Just bad Tex-Mex, all right. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh. I mean, we, we, we do have some good news for everybody. Build number 666. Six, six, six. How is it is appropriate out. that that's on my birthday? Is yeah. out now. Yeah. Well, you know what a lot of people haven't realized, and I haven't got any comments yet, and I'm probably, I should probably just shut my mouth on it, but. What? Hmm. It is October. Hmm. And SodaCon is happening this month. Do you know what day SodaCon kicks off on? Um, Friday the 13th? That's right. <laughs> SodaCon is Friday the 13th this year. So, for those of you guys coming out in cosplay and ready to... Uh, Join in the costume contest and show off your flair. Uh, of course, don't forget, costumes are encouraged at SodaCon. But uh, Friday the 13th, if you want to add a little Halloween or spooky twist to it, I guess that would be quite appropriate. Or not. 
depending. Yeah, you know what? Friday the thirteenth, I mean you've got Sotocon, Baron's men, uh Garb. Garb, who 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 can say it? I mean, I'll even be wearing my my daily show stuff, although I don't own a bicocket hat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get a fedora, it's like me. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Star and Laz can't be wrong, man. The fedora is a timeless classic. I need the the the, the small fedora so that way I can be like Star, the one that's like twelve sizes too small. <laughs> <laughs> that's because he's got no hair, so I guess you would need the same. Yeah, something that fits a little snugger on the head. I I don't know. I, mean, it's, I <laughs> I, I don't know what he's protecting with his fedora, but it's something. Yeah, he's protecting uh, his head from getting sunburned, unlike somebody I know, but that's besides the point. What are you voice. talking about, man? <laughs> this is a solar panel for a... a sex machine, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I loved... How is it anyway? It, well, I, I saw that on a, uh, on a shirt back when I was a little kid, I and ever since then I've remembered it. I think it's hilarious. So that yes, puts it absolutely. firmly in the early to mid '80s that I saw that. Dating yourself. Hey, I date myself all the time. That's right. Every night. Oh, I had a date with myself <laughs> earlier this morning. I'll have one after the show or two. Yeah. That's one of a hands-on situation, isn't it? A- I'll absolutely. Tell you. Well, one of my favorite songs is "Dancing with Myself." In the shower. Not in the shower. <laughs> shower comes later. <laughs> oh, well, after you're all hot and sweaty, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sweaty? Sweaty balls? Sweaty, yeah. That's that's right. Right. <laughs> sweaty balls. So, so, Spec, are you coming to SodaCon this year in Austin? No. Uh, How many people in coming? the room are coming to SodaCon? Going to come, and then we didn't come. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm watching the the cat right now. I, I know I'm going. I know Jack's going to be there. I know Arius is going to be there. Yeah, and I actually Cat's get to see weird. what Arius looks like since he won't provide pictures. You know the the cat's out of the bag. Come SodaCon, you know that. No pictures may be taken of me without my express <laughs> written permission at SodaCon. To do so will violate and bring about legal lawsuit. Anyway, <laughs> I do want to bring out. Um, I just want to say, I want to make a comment that uh, my heart goes out today to those people in Las Vegas as uh, the story continues to unfold. I'm, I'm watching for any of the latest news while we're on this live broadcast. Yeah, yes. unfortunately, uh, the toll right, the last I checked was over 50, and that, that is just a travesty. And uh, uh, I feel sorry for anybody that was affected by uh, that shooting. Do we know who was playing at that venue? It Benny was Kent? a bunch of country guys. I know I know they said it was a country western show, but yeah, I just didn't know if anybody yeah. uh, I did not yes. recognize the person that was on stage um when it happened. If I remember it correctly. I, I can't remember. Um I didn't see like a list of performers or anything like that. It's I, I was more uh, shot shocked by the active, active shooting at the sh- at the show last night. But moving right along. Where do you want to go to? Patch notes. Pick 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 a you know we got the uh, stand up. It's got to be the stand up. No, first. we never do a stand up well, on Monday. You should know that by now. Yeah, well, see I'm Monday. Not, but, you know, it, it's, it's, it's about the. It's the Avatars update number 247. That's right. Or release 666 patch notes, however you yeah. want to look at it. We'll, we'll do the Avatars update number 247 and then go on to patch notes for 666. 666. Now I want to sing this song. Do, do you happen to have the number of the beast? Oh, Ooh. I do. I might. There's a list of people that were performing at the venue. Okay. Thank you. I'm being all Wayne Klotz today, unless Arius. 
Yeah. I I don't know any of those people. Mm, nope. Not so, anybody I know. Yeah. I think Chris Young is a, a name I recognize. But Avatar's update number 247 up on the board for everybody out there. Oh, yeah. And that also includes the... Uh, release 46 came out last week, and you can play it, include, including all kinds of special things related to release 46 that may or may not be there, including agriculture. And we can talk a lot about uh, agriculture. Well, we'll talk about them as we come yeah. down. I see... Uh, uh, okay. Spec Reduce load times. Running around with I, the new yeah. uh, s Scythe. Scythe. <laughs> Scythe. Where'd she go? She ran off on us. I'm busy. Yeah. She's busy oh, killing. She's things. busy killing a developer. Is that what she's off yes. doing? Yes. I'll be she's back in a minute. Uh, stealing moment, was reworked. Please. Killing a developer. Uh, quest. Lord British is here. In chat. Uh, Welcome. Yes, and he apologizes for fixing bugs. My birthday! <laughs> I need yeah. spankings. It, it's, oh my. I, it's patch 666. I ain't... Respect my authority! Then, uh, so so <laughs> they, they also polished some quests. They have made it that... They have made it so that way uh, you can actually complete the quest of love a lot easier. Whew, thankfully. And thanks to uh, thanks to Spiff and a few others for helping me get my Shroud of the Avatar cloak. It's black as night. It's black. Thanks to the Almighty Gix. Thanks, Gix. <laughs> thanks, Gix. I would have had a white cloak if it wasn't for you. Yeah. Uh, Something then, about that love line. I know that my love <laughs> is... I, I am just a hater. That's all it is. Uh, the Malice Dungeon was reworked. Bla Blackbade Palace was reworked, uh, including a hard-to-find uh, uh, path underneath. Um, then High Veil Outskirts um, was worked on. The Crooked Shank was also worked on. North Shattered Hills was also uncloned. As well as the South Longfall Wetlands and the Crags also had a, a serious update. Combat balance includes things about uh, healing debuffs, where it only does 75%. Pole arms, uh, if you puncture someone and you poke them, it will cause them to bleed poke, some. Poke. Uh, several of the towns have added several multiple points of entrance, uh, entry points for... So whenever you teleport into them, you get to choose where you want to end up in the town. That has not been propagated to all of the towns as of yet. It's only a few select ones. Uh, the agriculture batch recipes. If you did not know this, on uh, Thursday, Friday, you did not have the batch uh, sewing. Uh, and that did come in on Saturday's patch. So that is out there. So make sure that you... Uh, go to the skill trainer. I love the guy in Owl's Head because he's right down the road. And learn the learn how to sow some skills, sow some plants. Uh, the new creature of the Reaper came out. A lot of people were doing playing with that. Uh, some people like Laz were unable to pronounce Scythe. And uh, yeah, I'm they, reading. And I'm looking at these events, and I have no clue where you are in this because I don't see half of what you're mentioning here. <laughs> it's on my screen, man. It's, it's, it's on my screen. I mean, I started at the top, and nothing. <laughs> well, so, so I'm in the summary part for release 46. The summary part. Yeah. For those of you new to lunch with Laz and Jack, this is the more part whenever they talk about weddings and more, like these two are married. I can't find where you're at. What are you doing? I don't see nothing. Now, this is the totally unscripted live everyday portion where we go, where the fuck yeah. are you? I, 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 I'm right here. New sword <laughs> loot. The, the new loot, uh, 
So when you do go out and hunt, you will be able to find new kinds of things added to loot bundles, uh, which include uh, teleports, recall scrolls, as well as uh, potions. I've received all of those, as well as an embry loot, although I think that was stolen from last. Uh, uh, since since Blaz just wants me to skip that, we can go down to the making of Black Blade and Foothills, North Midmere Way, and North Quell Way, and look at some pretty pictures. Woohoo! Including the ruined exterior, uh, Black Blade Foothills, which was done by Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. Uh, yes, those are, look pretty. Don't forget the temple beneath the mountain has the path through it. If you spoiler alert, if you ever read a certain book co-written by Lord British and uh, Tracy Hickman, that includes an underground through the lava secret passage uh, out in North Minmir Way, which was done by the Energy Vortex List Rostov. List uh, Rostov. I, I will say those pictures of the forest look absolutely beautiful. Until you get to the spider webs. Why did there have to be spiders? I know. Pretty until you get to the spiders, and then I'm like Just set them on fire. I know. Just set them on fire, and then you'll you'll be good. The uh, North webs, no doubt. Yeah, North Quell Way done by Sorcerer Steve, and that also looks great in those pictures. Uh, the Q4 schedule did come out last week. We talked about that, and don't forget the launch di official launch date will be announced sometime before the end of the year, and that will be a firm date. Firm, just like the wood that was given to Spec for her birthday. Yes. And don't forget Spec's birthday, so someone might want to see. Don't forget to go out the and put the some wood in Spec's birthday box today. Yes. And that happy is birthday happy. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We love you. Happy birthday to you. That was beautiful there, Arius. Where is that guy so I can set him on fire? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and that's great. We can actually clip that one. Use it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, Who knew Arius had I, such I, a voice? Well, I, that, that reminded me of... I think that was his Marilyn Monroe impression. No. Is that, is, that no? was not an impression. Fuck off. <laughs> are, are you sure? I Were you wearing the white dress and standing over an air vent and like holding the dress down while you're doing that? Well, you no, know, I was she, nude she over didn't the air vent. sing happy birthday while wind. she was doing that. Oh, okay. You realize okay. that, right? Well, was Spec doing that? <laughs> I need some wind. Gix, make some wind. Gix, blow. Blow hard, blow hard what? Gix. <laughs> what? <laughs> she wants to feel the wind beneath her. Hmm. Beneath my yeah. robes. Yes. Did you ever know <laughs> that you're my... Woohoo! The, the wind beneath my robes. <laughs> But yes, birthday presents can be left in my box. Whoa! In my box. In your box, inside of Ordinus Mortis. Yeah, That's true. right. I like all the things in my box. Damn. Make sure and put <laughs> everything inside of her box. Especially the wood. Put, put it in first, my box. Folks. Hey, in I, my I, birthday box. On I... <laughs> I put my wood inside of her box earlier. He I, took I a special wood, trip just wood, to make sure. Yeah. I put all the wood in her box. Uh, so moving right along, we also have <laughs> <laughs> the release 47 uh, <laughs> story updates, load time reduction. It's really fine. This is all parts of the Q4 update. So don't forget, we covered that last week. Um, but if you've got questions, don't hesitate yes. to ask. The release 46 post-mortem telethon is going to be on 
October 12th, right before Shotokan. And that's going to start at 3 p.m. and go through 7 p.m. And I have to pick up someone at the airport right at the beginning of it. Yeah, I'm going to be in transit right at the to, end of uh, it. to to Justin. Can bring house. him right down to the office. Yes, I am. Now, uh, of course, then, I got to remind everybody that there are all sorts of other events happening around SodaCon and around. Oh yeah. The postmortem telethon, of course. Don't forget uh, the gatherings of the Avatar. I believe is what it's called. Let's uh, pull this up here. Winfield linked it yesterday. I told him to give me a link. The meetups, the uh, Shroud of the Avatar the gatherings. And yes, and there is a pre-telethon gathering um, happening out there. There's also a pre-telethon brunch for those of you folks in town Thursday. And I'll put this up on screen for you all real quick. That yep. you can go to and hang out with the devs and have brunch and uh, chat beforehand. And then during the telethon, there is going to be a... Uh... Oh, that was, I don't know what he called that. It's pre-Soda Telethon Live Gathering. But he's also having a viewing party down at Opal Divines where uh, they're going to view the telethon. I don't know how he was planning on doing that if he was supposed to be there taking care of social media. I'll have I to don't ask know. that question. I have to ask I that know. question. I, I have no idea. But uh, for a list of events, there's a link here in our Discord. And uh, if anybody needs more information, we'll be posting that uh, to the events calendar so that you uh, can all check that out as well. Uh, if you have any questions on that you can come on by and ask and uh, we'll get you as much information as we can get for you but all sorts of things happening of uh, coming up into the teledon into sodacon um uh, and again uh lots of stuff happening in this community lots and lots and lots of stuff hey. i love this shit i tell you yeah it's gonna be a busy month oh, it, yeah, is. it is i mean <clears throat> And we haven't even discussed the Cyber Monday crown bonus yet. Well, we I tried, but somebody didn't think that was important yeah. the other day. Hey. <laughs> Plus, that doesn't start till today, right? That's kicking off today now? Um, no. It kicked off last week. <laughs> didn't Lie. I thought it was today? Lie. It's September 28th, last Friday. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Yep. So if you spend money on the add-on store at Portalariums or at the Shroud of the Avatar website, you will be receiving a 15% or approximately 15% of your 15%. Purchase, purchase value in gold crowns credited to your account. Uh, so it... If you spend lots of money, you will get possibly a ton of gold crowns for your account. Well, of course, Time to upgrade spend that bundle. Time to upgrade that bundle is exactly right. I don't know. I really think I like the 15% cash back or credit back. 15% store credit back? Yeah. I, I like that one, too. Because I can spend it in the store. Yeah, I can get goodies. Yes. And let's see, did I win a uh, no in the release forty five raffle? I did not, so yeah, we're not covering that. But Oxnell won in both of them. He did got he? lucky. Yeah, he got he he got a uh, Rolots in both. Very nice. Congrats. Yes, and then congrats. Uh, don't forget Sotacon Austin. That schedule Soda has Con, been posted. Sotacon, Sotacon, yes. Yes. And the then, uh, uh, schedule they have here was the official, unofficial release calendar. This is uh, locked in. All of the developers you see posted here will be appearing. And, of course, another reminder to all you folks who are coming to Sotacon. Again, we'll be putting this information out there for you. But uh, 
Friendly reminder, if you've got stuff that you want signed by Richard and Starr or any of your favorite devs, do not leave them in your hotel room thinking you're going to get a chance later. If you see the devs you want, like Richard and Starr, who are only going to be there in the morning, bring your stuff with you because that's when you're going to get your chance. There ain't going to be a chance on, you know, Friday night, Saturday morning. You get a chance with Star Saturday afternoon, but uh, Richard will not be there. So if you guys got swag that you want signed, make sure you bring it during the time the developers are scheduled. Yay. It's going to be a Soda Pro Soda Con. Oh, yes. Uh, Great, great bunch of events. A great uh, bunch of panels we've got together. And... uh, Got a lot of people coming. I'm, I'm anticipating a very, very large crowd. Uh, it seems to be uh, doubling year after year, and this is going to be uh, the first of its kind here. So um, we're, we're really excited about it and looking forward to it. And, of course, uh, I've just sent today all the goodies ahead. So, Jack, you'll be receiving those in the mail in a day or two. And... Uh, all the goodies will then be in Jack's hands, so everybody hope nothing happens to Jack between now and then. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands before touching any of the stuff, Jack. <sighs> what are you talking about? Well, I'd let Led Zepp play with them before I ship them off, so you, you know, keep you from poking, ar- keep you from poking I, around the box. <laughs> I have to, tr- I have to try on everything to find the one that fits perfectly. Uh huh. I hope you don't stick yourself. Or choke yourself. I might be trying. But you know what's in that box, Shaggy? Yeah, it's my Royal Founder <laughs> patch. The, the one I've been waiting for for, what, two years? A year and a half. Well, no, only since uh, Hoblaw 3. Yeah, so over a year. Over a year. Over a year I've been waiting for this patch from Laz. And I've seen Laz a couple of times since then. Yes, you have. Have you? No, you haven't seen me since SodaCon. <laughs> uh, since, uh... This yeah, I did. The more. No, the I didn't. More. Yes, you did. Where did no, you I see didn't. My... Yeah, you did. Uh, in October of last year, man. Yeah, October of last like, year. Was what? Was the BMC convention. Oh, I thought... Which yeah, one? never mind. I thought, uh... That was this... after... Hoploth was in June. In October was so uh, BMC oh, convention. Bite me. <laughs> you oh. know what? Scrotus patches in there too, and a couple extras. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a patch for if you get too much Scrota. Yeah, well, there's also a bunch of uh, cheap NDN and iron-ons in there as well. <laughs> Yep. Hey, you know, I, so, I try a little everything. Shameless self-promotion, you know us. <laughs> nothing, nothing like shameless self-promotion, especially when you have the number of the beast playing, and we haven't even talked about build number six, six, build six. number six hundred sixty-six. Where they fixed the missing material in the crags, fixed seam in the Viking ver- merchant shirt sleeve. Fixed visual issue with arrows in the elven quiver. Fixed door permission issue when a user's character name changes. Fixed an issue where you could not cycle in to certain enemies. Marked old release 45 tickets as tradable. The golden clockwork raven decoration pet is now labeled incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> Now labeled incorrectly. Now labeled awesome. incorrectly. That's right. You're you're reading that correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I read it properly, and it's now labeled incorrectly. It is now uh, labeled the, incorrectly, and that is right. Yeah, the merchant. <laughs> that's what it says. You hover over yes. it. Just says incorrectly. Yes, the uh, merchant shirt and skirt are now master workable. You just have to take them off first. Uh, fix the bug that caused all equipment Whoa. to be removed when swapping decks for the first time after logging in. Oh man, they f- they fixed my get nude bug. Get your naked bug bug entry. Right. They have changed the behavior of defensive stance now. Instead of boosting damage absor- absorption, it boosts defensive skill modifiers. 
There is a full explanation in Chris's daily work blog. Uh, the battle scythe was is now placeable as a decoration, and they fixed the blacked out windows to prevent the peeping toms or the peeping lazes on the blue tile roof Damn. two story row home. I know. Uh, they fixed the floating objects in High Vale outskirts. Fixed agriculture for tenants and the POT iron gate interconnections with Bearskin. Oh, Bearskin Grotto interconnection. Uh, improved visuals for the Yanniford bonfire. And the Northwest Blackblade Mountains, they added additional onks. Fixed the sky re rotation and reworked some NPC spawning. And now my cat's playing with an empty yeah. Dr. Pepper bottle. Hi, Lily. And that's a, that's build number six, six, six. It's the devil. It's got Lily's stamp of approval. Yes. As she, she stomps really all to, over you. She, she really <laughs> wants to play with this. So we'll just throw it over there. I'm ready for her to you, you know, she only ever so, wants attention these days when you're live. Apparently, well, I can, no, yeah. no, 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 it, it's not just then. It's also whenever <laughs> it's like I, I'm sitting in bed trying to Netflix and chill with myself. Uh -huh. uh, it's one o'clock in the morning. She decides to, have to like, chill. push open the door. And so my door is always open. Uh, but earlier, if you if that you has were here, a whole different she, meaning, she, folks. I know she was <laughs> under underneath. She she was like laying down on the floor with her paws on the dresser, laying on her back, and then she just pulled herself underneath the dresser <laughs> while on her back. I mean, it's like it's just kind of cute and funny. Disappearing cat. Yeah, it's like it's like the. <laughs> Now, uh, you want to take a minute to go over Chris's daily blog? We want to go ahead and do what we normally do about this time and start wrapping things up. Actually, we got a minute. Never mind. We've got three minutes. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, that's enough time for you. Okay, so we do... <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, so... Chris does have a note. Botting quest turn-ins is still botting. Dealing with this now. Temp bans applied and details handed over to customer service. It is in their hands now. And diving into profiles from the Friday dance party, aka the lag fest, where I was getting three frames a second. Tons of things to fix when loading into a crowded scene. And I will say that... Uh, our friend Grumpy Old Gamer did a fantastic job of DJing the uh, party on Friday. Uh, tons of things to fix when loading into a crowded scene, like uh, lag, lag, starting Crashing. scene logic too Hell early again. in the load process, so it completes with lots of setup logic in a high activity spots, like say a dance party. The messages for actions and events are slowing down the delivery of the items to load list. That doesn't make sense to me. And fix Kabbalist so they can no longer be gusted. So you can no longer blow a Kabbalist. What? Wait. I, what? I'm, not, I'm not going there. I guess you just can't get under the rope. It must be too heavy. I mean, why can't you blow a Kabbalist? I, I could understand not being able to blow a troll or blow a dragon, but a Kabbalist? Give me a break. <sighs> Besides, the Kabbalists might enjoy it. I don't know about the dragon or the I troll. know. It's like, <laughs> you should be able to blow a Kabbalist all day long. Yeah. That, that, Though I your mean, jaw may get sore, so we, we provide more. Well, there for. there's always nut good. butter for that. Prevent jaw lock. Oh, is that, that is the new Gus animation? Is that what I'm seeing uh, Gix do there? Gix is blowing know. me. Gix is oh, so you're getting blown for your birthday? She's getting blown for a birthday as well. Yes. Are you are you enjoying the blows? I am. Okay. Give us a blow by blow of the blow. Now she looks like yes. she's immune to being blown. I don't know. 
She's not moving, so. But, it, but, <laughs> but, but the new Gus build does look kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like so I'm, the, I'm, uh, I'm liking that new animation. That actually makes yeah. sense. Now, the question is, does something actually gust as far as that animation? Or is that mm, animation over-exaggerated? Pr probably not. And, and the reason that Gix probably can't actually physically blow um, spec away is they're probably not dueling right now. No. Nope. That's, that's good. So, yeah. so that good that's, that's why they are... That's why she's just standing inside the... The breeze that cannot I'm, touch I her. missed the gust fests up back up in the tower of the shuttered eye. Those were the days. Uh, yeah. So she's just <laughs> receiving a friendly blow. We, we would watch people get blown off the top of the shuttered eye and fall to their death. That is correct. Unless they He's could magically the teleport before they hit the ground. That was always fun, too. Could you get the teleport off before you hit the ground? <laughs> Can't yep. do that these days. So, you you ready to talk right about that along. NBN in app? Ah, I guess. I guess we can tell the good boys and girls out there about the NBNN Shroud of the Avatar app so that they can take all the goodies of Shroud of the Avatar with them while they're on the go. Literally, if you're on the go. Or hanging at the office during your lunch break. You want to listen in. You want to check out the schedule. You want to read the NBNN Daily Britannian. You want to get into a flame war on the forums. You want to check out the marketplace and do a little bit of shopping. You want to come on in, talk to us in Discord. All that stuff is available in the NBNN Shroud and the Avatar app. And that's available on the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store for all your mobile electronic devices. And also on that app is, of course, the NBNN Shrouded Avatar Community Calendar. Brought to you today by Zendesk. That's right. That NBNN Community Calendar is available on nbnn.info. Just click on the calendar button and don't forget that Laz has meticulously aggregated all of the available calendars related to Shroud of the Avatar that he has been informed about and knows about. So if you have a Google calendar or if you want to add your event to the calendar, you need to email that guy at news at nbnn.info and eventually he'll do something with it. All times on the community calendar are central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. Nude Britannia time. Yes. Don't forget, Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s, you need to tune in your Ether Amplifiers and to Radio Free Britannia. WRFB. Dot box. And listen to two idiots interpreting the news so mm -hmm. you don't have to. On a little show called Lunch with Us. Last Jack. Yeah. Yes. Us guys. 2 p.m. On Avatar's radio, Grumpy Old Gamer is going to be taking the av the alternative route, and I believe he's going to be on what is now the AR2. Um, and Trout Radio their... is the latest latest name, but again, oh yeah, you still won't be hearing this in game or on the website. Not yet, yeah. So Shroud Radio, whatever, whenever they get that fixed. Uh, at 7 p.m., Arius is going to be taking over WRFB. WRFB. With the game music charts tonight, the top 20 countdown of this week's game music listings, international music, all provided by gamemusiccharts.fr blogspot. Thank you so much. Don't and forget Arius. to tune in. Arius, who's going to be number one this week? Is it going to be the same as last week? You'll have to tune in and find out. You have to tune in and Spoilers? find out. Okay. Spoilers. Tune in later be on and find out. That's right. Okay. Tune in. Are you going to be streaming seven. live at the same time? Uh, I will probably not be streaming on Twitch at the same time tonight. Just an FYI for everybody. Uh, okay. Uh, at 8 p.m. on 
uh, not on AR, but possibly somewhere else, is going to be Monday Nights with DJ Killy. Killy. At 9 p.m., you need to go to the town of Verit Chaos and go find the pub of Extraordinary Thought and engage in the open role-playing event hosted by Andartiana Zezeriz. And don't forget, all great adventures begin in a pub somewhere, so go check it out. At 9 o'clock also is the Order of Vengeance Guild meeting taking place in their Discord channel as well as in-game, possibly. Uh, at final event of the evening is going to be on Radio Free Britannia. WRFB. That and drives. that is the record room. And that is our community calendar for this October Monday. It's Mech's birthday. My birthday! Birthday! <laughs> Birthday girl, birthday spanking. If only it's we had birthday. that butt slap emote. Yeah. Not as important yeah, as Spank's birthday. Butt slapping emote. <laughs> I need it. I need my spankings. Oh yes, she does. Okay. Well, don't worry. We'll we'll line up right right behind you after the show. <laughs> Kicks, we need that Please. butt slap emote, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I need it as a frontward pat. I, I, I yeah. <laughs> the front. <laughs> there you go. See, maybe if you asked for a frontward pat, you might have gotten it, Jack. Yeah, frontward pat. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Uh, I the, love the don't shoot, for, I don't forget. You. Uh, <laughs> You're more than welcome to always come hang out with us. Just go to discord.me slash nbnn or go to the nbnn.info website. Click on the Discord button to join us. And thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. Yes, Woo-hoo! absolutely. Don't because forget everybody, you're watching Everybody's NBNN. welcome to come hang out and tell Spec happy birthday and what you want to give her for her birthday. Yes. If you give her anything but wood, she's going to kill you, so... She loves the wood. <laughs> I accept other presents, but I do like wood. But yes, you're watching us on Twitch TV or in replays on YouTube or listening on WRFB, Radio Free Britannia. And of course, if you want to join in, we are here five days a week. And of course, uh, after the show, before the show, during the show, we're usually around to answer questions, help out new avatars, or just shoot the shit. So if you're uh, looking for something to do during the day and you just don't want to do the grind, you want to hang out and have some fun, come on into the NBNN Discord and hang out with us. There's usually somebody around to chat with. Of course, again, uh, the Airy Fund Think Pink community cause in full swing out there. And of course, you're seeing lots of folks running around with those nice pink cloaks supporting breast cancer awareness through the month of October. And you can go out to airyfund.org to help uh, contribute and get one of those cloaks. Or you can go out to the uh, Make a Difference store and buy the breast cancer awareness items, including the Shooter Jennings Countach items. Uh, yeah. Some great stuff to PCR support. USA. That's right. Great stuff supporting breast cancer. Gaming, help, hey, gamers helping gamers. I mean, what more can you ask for? Of course, Coil More Wands. Putting the magic in your hands and the wood mm-hmm. in your box. And Arius, I got to talk to you about uh, a project here. Is I think I may need a stave or two made. Oh, all right. Is uh, For those of you who do not know, you happen to have a stave in your inventory, you may want to go take a look at it these days. Uh, they actually do damage now, more than zero to one. I'm not giving it away. I'll let you all figure it out on yourselves, on your own. Scroda's Music Service. It's Scroda. It's music, and it's a service. And we'll tell you more about that in just a moment. Of course, oh, he the... serviced me twice last night. Ooh. It was great. Ooh, baby. I hope you didn't stiff him. Yeah, well, I hope you stiffed him first, and then you didn't stiff him. <laughs> <laughs> With the I Britannian have had a wood mining processing company. service. Hmm. BMC wants you to come check out all the vendors down on Market Road and throughout Black Rock Cove. All sorts of vendors for all your crafting needs located in Black Rock, 
located right next to the town of Etzeter in the Quell region and nearby to the Etzeter mines and uh, the Elysium mines, just a boat ride away. Relicsbyrill.com for all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. If you're looking for t-shirts, you're looking for hats, you're looking for patches, you gotta get your hands on the elusive I Love This Shit NVNM bumper sticker. Relicsbyrill.com is the place to go or become a patron. And you too can get your hands on a wonderful bumper sticker or other types of swag at relicsbyrill.com. And if you want to save a little bit of money, use the promo code NDNM when you check out. You'll save 10% when you check out at relicsbyrill.com. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you all sorts of entertainment from this side of the moon gates here in Trout of the Avatar. Of course, Arius up with the GMC Top 20 tonight. The Deco Divas every Wednesday and Thursday at 8. Sarah and Andar show late night, midweek. Of course, Omen Crow with the House of Omen every weekend. Wake up New Britannia, waking up every Saturday morning, bringing you the latest news, games, and uh, all sorts of contests and shenanigans. Just all sorts of stuff happening on WRFB, including our show five days a week and all sorts of news and music in between. Check out WRFB.rocks or Radio Free Britannia on the internet or tune in on your Aether Vibration Amplifier device in-game. And of course, last but not least, ShroudMarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. If you've got stuff you want to sell or you're looking to buy something, Shroud Marketplace is the place to go. And of course, Jack's going to tell you all about the vendors and stuff you can get at ShroudMarketplace.com. You know, Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar anything. related. Anything. Any, anything Shroud of the Avatar related. I, I'm talking about, you know what, over the weekend, I, I will admit this, I sold a stripped, uh, a stripped account. You, you know what? So if you're looking for an account, and you, you want to strip a Benefactor Citizen account, you can find an, another one on ShroudMarketplace.com. Just go to uh, Accounts, and you'll be able to find it. Uh, if you go to, if, you, if you're looking for Game Gold, Crowns of the Obsidian, uh, you can find them cheaper than you'll be able to find them on the add-on store. I had 100 Gold Crowns of the Obsidian currently on sale by um, uh, Kane's Deeds. For fifty nine dollars for fifty nine dollars. So it's like, dude, it's like seriously. It's almost that like is, buy one get one free. I know it's that's an insane discount off of uh, what you can get off the add on store. Eighty five dollars on the add on yeah. store. That's right. Anything and everything you can find on troudmarketplace.com and if you have something that you want to sell you can just register your an account and then click on vendor registration and you can start selling your stuff remember every single vendor is responsible for main, maintaining their own inventory and setting their own prices you know what it's like it's a great place to do it and uh, from there there's over 72 current player vendors registered on shroudmarketplace.com and not to mention if you have a service that you want to offer to someone you can list that on Shroud Marketplace or you can find someone to do some leveling help for you you can find Mal's Power Hour or you can find uh, Armelian's Golden Moor with the, that adventure boost or if you're looking for someone to do some cheese sign writing you know what you can contact Wolfram Shop cheesy writing you can be just like Laz and Jack, where you know what? That's right. We, we are also we, clients. We are clients of the cheese sign writing. Uh, if you're looking for uh, soda design services, if you're looking for Scrota's music service thing, where you can get Scrota following you around for an hour and get playing. Anything you want. Yes. Including Scrota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Arius will and, testify. <laughs> yeah yep and if you're looking for someone to like uh sell you some housing packs uh you can always find the deco divas they've got some stuff and not to mention if if you're looking for an in-game wedding you know who you need to contact 
this Weddings guy. and more by Lazarus. Weddings and more by Lazarus. Not just weddings, but a whole lot more. If you're looking to get hitched to that one you love here in the virtual world, and you're looking for just the right place, come see me, because more likely than not, I've got the accommodations you're looking for. Need tuxedos for a large wedding par party? I've got them. Need a wedding dress? I've got them. Need a lakeside location? I've got it. Oceanside location? I've got it. Want a sunrise wedding? Sundown wedding? A bloodletting wedding? And of course, we run special weddings throughout the season. Bullwinkle? Any, uh, is Bullwinkle available today, by the way? Any special right weddings? Here. We do. We have one special wedding. It's called the Turtle Wedding. It's whenever something pokes out of somewhere and then goes back in. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Turtle weddings available as wet weddings and more. Of course, if you can dream it, we can do it. That's the great thing about this game. And of course, not just weddings, but a whole lot more. I've got things like houses. I've got uh, armor packs, which are rares out there. We've got everything from the fire dancer's outfit to the cock copper clockwork armor. I was going to say clockwork armor. You just but said something else. Yeah, I know. I, I did say it, didn't I? <laughs> the uh, fairy outfit, the aeronaut outfit, and of course, much, much more coming. And if you don't see it out there, ask about it because more likely than not, Jack or I have it, or we know somebody who does. But with that, we got to start rolling on out of here, actually. Oh, yeah. There's and we have to thank the most important people around. Major festivities going on out here. We are burning the witch festivities for the birthday party out there. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Burn, baby, burn. Yes. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. Thank you for uh, spending time with us on Twitch, YouTube, or listening on Radio Free Britannia. We couldn't do the show without you guys, and we do it for you guys. So thank you for taking that hour a day to spend it with us absolutely we love hey. you guys and uh, of course thanks for tuning in thanks for listening and of course if you want to become a supporter go check us out on nbnn.info or patreon.com slash nbnn and uh, throw us a little support our way uh, you can click on jack's links on his side my links on my side and support us both uh, every little bit help helps and goes towards keeping us on the air here bringing you this news and entertainment daily but till then we got to get out of here and get ready to uh, move on with the day have a great day everybody we'll be back with more tomorrow right here on nbnn until then i'm laz i'm jack and we are nbnn have a great day everybody and we will see you all tomorrow Bye-bye.